So previously, we covered the main features for the Donut and Pi visuals. Now we're going to go through the initial setup, and I'm going to explain all the fields for you so you know how to use it. But first, what I wanted to quickly do is take you through the sample report. So like I mentioned before, in the description down below, you can download the sample report, which is going to have all the data already provided for you and all the visuals. So you can just follow me through the course. Within that report, you can see that at the top menu, we have three different tabs. We have Donut Visual, Pi Visual, and Training View. What these tabs mean is that the Pi and the Donut are essentially already pre-configured variations of the chart, whereas the Training View is specifically designed to be blank. So this is where you can follow me throughout the course. So that's what we're going to also be doing right now. We're going to switch to the Training View. There we go. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add an instance of the Donut Visual. We're going to resize it a bit, and I'm also going to disable the background and the title so they don't mess around with my theme of the report. So for the setup, you can see that I have two fields. I have category, which is essentially the field where you define your hierarchy. So you can drag in different columns from your data sources, and the second field is going to be values. So this is where you provide your value that you want to aggregate everything by. So the setup in this case, let's just start off with one level. We're going to add department as a drill down level, and we're going to add payout as the value that you want to be using within the visual. And there you go. You have created your first instance of the donut visual. Now, something to keep in mind is that the drill down donut and Pi visual, they both support up to nine drill down levels. Technically, we can, of course, increase the numbers, but let's be realistic. If you're using more than nine categories, you're providing a really specific filter, which is not really necessary in most of the cases. In most of the cases, I would recommend you to split the donut into two so the user can actually start to cross-filter. Okay, that's enough about the initial setup, and I'll see you in the next chapter.